Hey guys, Marshall here with PhysioU, and I'm here with Kristen. And today for the Mentoring Minute, we're going to be talking about quad max muscle testing. So, an article from 2017, Jurex PT, want to investigate four alternative ways to measure max quad strength compared to the gold standard, which is isometric electromechanical dynamometry, right? So, isoconductive testing. All right, that's a very big, expensive machine that not many clinics have. So they want to say, well, what's an alternative that has um, similar outcomes? And they used four different measurements. They used a one rep max on the leg press. They used a one rep max with a knee extension machine. It's very commonly found in the clinic in the gym. Going from 90 to 45. That was the second option. The third option was the one rep max like knee extension machine from 90 to zero degrees of flexion. Right, so one just to here. Another one here. And the last one, which is what I'm going to show you here, is using an electric handheld dynamometer, right, with the patient seated, using some type of belt to fixate it, um, and her knee is flexed to 85 degrees, right? Have the patient hold on to stabilize her trunk, right? And then I'm going to help stabilize the machine while she goes and kicks out. All right, so you're going to kick out as hard as you can, hard as you can, kick, 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 and relax, right? As you notice there, she's kind of popping up. So either you can strap her down or call in some help as Tracy here comes in. All right, he's gonna help stabilize her, right? And again, we're gonna reset this machine. Right? And again, you're gonna kick as hard as you can. You can place a small towel in between the pressure and your anterior tib slash tibial crest as sometimes it's painful when they're kicking as hard as they can. All right, go ahead and kick as hard as you can. Kick, 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 kick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And relax. Good. 118 pounds, nice. So what the study found is that this testing, so the hand to the electronic machine, as well as the knee extension from 90 to 45, right, those two had fair outcomes compared to the gold standard. So good ways to use in the clinic. And why do we wanna use these ways in the clinic? Because lots of studies and protocols show that there's good sensitivity and specificity for reaching a certain threshold when it's time to start running, time to start jumping, um, and especially when it's time to return to sport, whether that's FAI surgery, whether that's meniscus surgery, definitely an ACL surgery. So all these lower extremity injuries, we want to be able to tell if it's safe for our patient to go back to these higher level activities. Besides just using manual muscle testing for the quads, we can also use it for patients with hip pain or knee arthritis. There's a lot of good studies that wanted to look at hip strengthening using a handheld dynamometer for those different pathologies. So if we're looking at the external rotators, we're gonna place this just proximal to the medial malleolus, stabilize at the knee, and go ahead and kind of pull your foot across, pull, 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 and relax, right? So we can look at the external rotators. We can also look at the glute med, so lay on your right, on your left side, right side, lay on your right side, sorry. Good, all right. Have the patient bring their leg up, Hold there, hold strong, right? So 15 degrees of abduction. Right? You're gonna go ahead and push up into your hand, push, push. And what's important about checking the glute need and the external rotation, right, these are called press tests, where I'm not trying to break her because the more that I push her down, the stronger she's gonna test. Patients test stronger here than here. So it's more, we just need to be stable and she just pushes up. Unlike the quad, where if we actually pushed against it, the more that we broke, broke her quad, her knee would flex more, the weaker she would get. So we wouldn't be as concerned. So they have press tests and brake tests. So this would be a press test. She's gonna press up as hard as you can. I'm just gonna hold it stable, right? And what a couple of studies from 2016 and 2014 that looked at hip strength with patients with hip and knee pain is they found up to 24, 24% weakness in those hip muscles, the abductors, the external rotators, compared to the non-involved side. So. Nice thing is, if we're going to strengthen these muscles, which we often do with a lot of our patients, we want to be able to get a quantitative number so that when they come back, we want to know if they're any stronger or not. Did they get better without a change in their strength, meaning maybe it's more of a motor control issue, versus, oh yes, they built an extra five, 10 pounds of strength. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's Mentoring Minute where we talked about quad muscle strength testing and glute strength testing for whether it's return to sport patients with knee pain or more of our degenerative older patients with hip or knee arthritis. Take care and uh, talk to you guys later.